to expound a little bit on what can damage your credit? Um, not paying your bills on time. Mm -hmm. Um, when you um apply for loans and not paying those off, um, bankruptcy will damage your credit. Um, really? Yes. I thought bankruptcy was to help credit. No. Where'd you get that from? I don't know. I, I'm not. I don't plan on filing bankruptcy, but I just figured. All right. Well, you don't owe. You don't owe anything anymore. So maybe it'll help. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I had one client that um was going through that, and at the time I was just starting out, and she asked me about that, and I was like, you know, trying to figure that out myself, and come to find out, um, that's what she said. She said that she was bankruptcy, and she could not get it off for anything, and she asked me what I need, what she needed to do, and um, like I said, at that time I was just starting out, so I had to go to my mentor and ask her, you know what to do about it and um she said that she recommend like you can get your credit fixed if you're in bankruptcy but it's really not recommended because it's going to take a longer time frame than someone that's not in bankruptcy okay so uh, we got a question here from the audience says is consolidating your debt in one payment better also can you still use your card if you are consolidating um, that question, I will have to, um, get, um, some information on it. Um, if she can message me her name, I will gladly get that question answered for her. That's the okay. first time I've ever, um, heard of that one. So I okay. That. Okay. And I guess well, that kind of leads me to it with student loans. They tell you, you know, the, the consolidating all your loan payments into one can be beneficial is that true or should you leave them separate into smaller balances um when i was started out i didn't i didn't pay the full balance all at one time because i didn't have it you know mm -hmm. so i would just pay portion of it you know half of what i could pay and then i would come back the next month and pay the other half and then mm -hmm. Even doing that, it was still on my credit. So for me, I think that either, even if I wouldn't have done it and paid it off, I think that you still just need dispute letters. Okay. So would you be able to I, dispute I every that. single one or would you consolidate them and then dispute them? I think I would consolidate and then dispute them. Okay. So maybe it's the same for um, for the credit. So you also mentioned what else did you say can damage your credit if you we we established that you if you don't pay your bills, um, if you pay them late, that also affects your credit in in a negative way. What else did you say would hurt your credit? Um, something else that can hurt your credit will be um. Oh, when you said bankruptcy. Oh, yes, bankruptcy. And then um, just leaving your uh, your accounts like negative. If you keep like some people will go in and, you know, they'll get like tons of withdrawals like every month. Like, you know how um, they have that overdraft protection plan? Yes. Some people, if they know it's there, they'll just overdraft, but they'll just keep going to get that money every month. But it's not, you know, it's hurting your credit as well when you do that. Because some people just get that overdraft protection plan and just know that it's there. Mm -hmm. And so every month they're in the red, like their account is negative. So even though that you go and get that 500 or whatever they the bank offers you, you go get that every mm -hmm. month after you've gotten paid. And you keep doing that month after month, it drops your credit score. So I wouldn't do that. Um, also, when you're getting your credit score, when you're getting your credit fixed, I would not apply for any loans for six months. After, so after I my, Yes, I tell all my clients when they come and get their credit fixed, do not apply for any credits for six months. When you do that, they that? hit your credit real hard and it drops your credit score. 
because they're constantly checking your credit score while you're getting it, you know, fixed. And then you're applying for loans on top of it. So all of those inquiries. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got a question here. It says, how about maxing out the limit? How about, how about maxing out the limit? No. Never max out that limit. Because what are you going to do when you max it out and can't pay it? There's, I guess, the so it may be also because, you know, they say once you go past your half of your credit limit, that that can negatively affect it. So I guess if you max it out, it's probably even worse. That's correct. Okay. You can, my team. Huh? You can come join me and be an agent. No, a lot. <laughs> say it again. I say you can come and join me anytime and be an agent. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I know enough. I, I mean, I'm, I'm always down to learn, though. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you, can you think of anything else that would damage your credit score? What about, um, you know, how you were saying that you put your children or you put other people on your credit to uh, help them establish credit? Can that uh, can that hurt your credit score, or does that help your credit score, mm -hmm. or can it go either way? It builds. It builds your credit score and theirs as well. Okay, so could they negatively affect your credit score? No, only if you you don't pay make payments on the card. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess with that because they're underage and they're just trying to build their credit score, so they they can't harm it unless someone doesn't make the payment on the credit card, right? Okay. So then that's kind of a risk, but um, yeah, you want to make sure that they have good credit with you first before you put them on your credit card. <laughs> yeah. Well, my um, my son, he's 17, so I put him on mine. So, of course, it's going to get paid because I'm not going to let it slip. So <laughs> mm -hmm. unless he goes out there and just goes and buy a new, you know, car and then he shows up. Uh -uh. Hey. I, I got it to every time he he swiped that car, it, it comes to my phone. I know where he had how much he spent and what you do. <laughs> and he can't come home if that's that's the case. <laughs> I just give him a limit and um he's just being like I just give him a hundred dollars and tell him hey you can get a hundred dollars and you know don't go over that. So he's been doing pretty good with it though. Okay.